Always dry fit duct sections before sealing. Once dry fitted, you can work your way from bottom to top, removing, sealing, and reinstalling one piece at a time. For example, if you were sealing this piece, you would remove it and the piece right after it to make room. To do so, you must remove the V-bands one at a time as shown. Per the listing, 3M Fire Barrier 2000 Plus is the only sealant that may be used to seal this duct system. Sections must be clean, dry, and frost-free before sealing. When installed properly, this sealant will seal a duct system so it is leak-free, and at the same time will control the spread of fire before, during, and after exposure to open flames. Apply a continuous bead of sealant onto the inside of the V-band, all the way around the band. The sealant should completely fill the V-section. Place the V-band just past the duct flange, leaving enough room for the next duct section. Apply a continuous quarter-inch bead of sealant around the flange to be joined. The sealant should be about the width of a pencil. Join the two flanged ends of the duct sections together. Take care that the sections do not shift during assembly. If the sections shift, the flanged ends will not seal properly. While fitting both duct flanges inside the V-section, install the V-band around the duct flanges and partially tighten the screws. For horizontal duct runs, the V-band hardware should be located on the top side of the duct between 10 and 2 o'clock. Alternate between the two bolts as you tighten. The final torque should be between 40 and 60 inch-pounds. You can now apply insulation around the duct. Insulation must be a minimum of 4.5 inches wide, and the same type and number of layers as the base duct. As a reference, mark the duct at the desired starting point of the insulation. Measure 3 inches from this mark, and add a second mark. These two marks will guide you in setting the correct insulation overlap of 3 inches. Tightly wrap the insulation to completely fill all voids between the inner duct and outer shell. Be sure the remaining ends overlap by 3 inches. Join the two flanged ends of the outer shell by installing the double V-bands. Do not install sealant. When installing ductwork outside, the double V-band must be face down in order to shed rainwater. Tighten the quarter 20 hardware between 40 and 60 inch pounds. Smooth and remove any excess sealant from the inside of the duct surface to prevent grease buildup. Continue sealing your dry fitted duct sections, one at a time, working your way up the duct run, the same way this piece was installed. For outdoor installations, you must seal all the outer double V bands with a generous bead of sealant, all the way around the band. You must also seal the gap across the V-band hardware and wipe off the excess sealant to achieve a finished look.